Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these teardrop double brick stitch rainbow earrings. I'm showing them step by step so I'm sure with these easy instructions you're going to be able to make them. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell for more absolutely free similar tutorials like this one. Check description for a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough for these actions, guys. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are eight colors of 11 O seed beads and those are the rainbow colors. Purple, dark blue, light blue, green, light green, yellow, orange and red. You could use tenos if you want, they should be one and the same size though. Here I'm using copper earring findings, you could use others of your choice. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 11 beading needle, you could use size 12 as well and these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle but because these are big earrings I will need to add more thread later and then I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm going to pick up two red and two orange beads and I'm going to slide those down. I'm leaving here a small tail let's say 25 centimeters or 10 inches because later I will finish my work with this tail. Okay, and now I'm going through these two red beads. And I pull. Now you see what I have. Here I have my beads pointing with the holes in this direction and they are in two columns next to each other. Then I want to go through the two orange beads. After that I need two yellow beads and I'm going back through this orange making another column of beads then backwards through the yellows. Light greens dark greens light blue dark blue and purple. Most of the rainbow colors are here. Then I need two dark blue beads. And I will repeat this sequence here but the other way around, starting from the dark blue, then light blue, dark green, light green, yellow, orange and red. Okay, I'll do this faster.
I start my next row with two reds and two orange beads and I go under the second thread bridge that I have here. You see I have thread bridges between my beads and I'm going under the second one and I pull. Then I want to go through these two orange beads that are closer to the center of my work. And after that I want to reinforce by going through the two red beads and then through the two orange beads one more time. I do this because when I go through the second thread bridge they stretch a little bit and I don't like how they look. Then I take two yellow beads. From here on I'm going to add them two by two, only the first step is with four. Then I need a light green. And a dark green. And a blue. Then I will add two columns of dark blue beads. And from here on guys, I'm going to repeat them following this here, the other way around. So it's light blue, dark green, light green, yellow, orange and red. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here at my last thread bridge, I'm adding the last two beads of this row. And I'm going to start my next row with two reds and two orange beads. And I go under the second thread bridge here like I did before. Then I'm going through those two orange beads that are closer to the center of my work. Then I go through these first two red beads and backwards through these two orange, reinforcing it like before. Then two yellows. two light greens, two dark greens, two light blue, and two dark blue. And from here on guys, I'm going to add the same sequence, but the other way around. Two light blue, two dark green, two light green, two yellow, two orange and two red. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay, and I'm taking two red and two orange beads and I'm going here under the second thread bridge that I have.
and then I go back through these two orange beads and I want to reinforce okay now I have this okay guys and now I will continue with the following sequence yellow light green dark green two light blue dark green light green yellow orange and red and I will add them two by two like I showed you up until now and when I'm ready with this row I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last two red beads I always start each row with two reds and two orange beads and I go under the second thread bridge and the familiar step of reinforcing and now I'm going to add two yellows and as always two by two I'm adding light green dark green blue dark green light green yellow orange and thread okay I'll finish this row and I'll be back okay then I need two red and two orange beads and I'm going here under the second thread bridge again And again guys I'm in a position to start the next row which consists of yellow, light green, two dark greens, light green, yellow, orange and red. Okay I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay and here I am where I'm adding my last two red beads from this row guys then I take two reds and two orange beads and I did absolutely the same thing okay and from here on I continue with a light green a dark green a light green a yellow an orange and a red okay I'll do this off camera two by two I'm adding them and I'll be back okay my friends and I finished this row and now I'm going to add a red an orange a yellow two light greens yellow orange and red I always start with four beads and then continue two by two okay I'm sure you're gonna be able to make this row by yourself and I'll be back okay my friends and I hope you did this row if not pause now and watching from here do this and in my next row I'm going to add red orange yellow light green yellow orange and red columns and then I'll be back okay guys and I'm ready with another row then I need to add red, orange, yellow, orange and red. I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. And I'm ready with this row as well. If you want, pause and do this if you still haven't. And now I need red, orange, orange, red columns. I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys and here I am where I'm making my last row of this top part of my earring. And how I do this, I take the familiar two reds and two orange beads. I go under the second thread bridge like I did all the time. 
then I will go to reinforce it and I need a row with two red beads go like this then I'm going to take a red bead, an earring finding and a red bead and as I'm exiting from one of my reds I'm going through the other one skipping the orange okay this is what I have then in my next step what I want to do is reposition my thread in order to go back and reinforce this work now guys what i want to do is to go through all of my beads in this direction and exit here where my purple bead is Okay. and I'm exiting out of this purple bead here I need four purple beads I'm going to slide those down and I'll skip these three and go through the last purple and then backwards through these two purples now what I want to have is this one then I go in the dark blue bead And what I want to take are 12 dark blue beads. Okay, I have my 12 here. And as I'm exiting from this dark blue bead, I'm going in the next two dark blue beads and I'm pulling. I have these guys. And now what I want to do because my thread is almost over. I want to cut this thread and I will add a new one. I'm going here, making a loop, going twice through the loop I've made and I pull. Then I go through some beads in this direction and I cut my thread. Now guys, I'm going to move my needle here at this part and I will also make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, and I moved my needle here at this shorter part. And what I do is that I go through some beads in this direction, make a loop, go through some more beads in this direction, and cut this tail thread okay now i have this and i will put a new thread on my needle guys and i'll be back to show you how we continue and now guys i have let's say another arm span of thread on my needle here it is and what i want to do is attach it to my work the same way i showed you okay i'm going here through these two blue beads light blue beads I make here a loop I go twice through the loop I've made 
and I pull. Then I go through these two white blue beads. Okay. Then I cut this tail thread as close as possible to my work. Okay, now I have this. And I need 17 light blue beads. Okay, these are 17. And I go here in the next two light blue beads. Now guys, I must tell you that even if you work with one and the same size of beads, sometimes from lot to lot they differ just a little bit. That is why in my case, these numbers here that I tell you, 12, then 17, and so on and so on, they work with the beads that I use. But if they don't work with the beads you use, uh, feel free to add one more bead or to extract one bead from each of these chandelier loops that we make here. Uh, the important thing is to look nice, nicely arranged around each other. Okay, with this set, let's continue. And I'm going here in the red one. And here, guys, I'm adding 21 green beads. And as I'm exiting from the dark green row, I go also in the dark green row. Again, I must remind you that you should add the number of beads that fit in your work. Okay, here in mine, 21 fit. And I want to go in the light greens. Okay, guys, and now I'm adding my next row of beads, which consists of 25 light green beads. And I'm here, guys, where I'm adding my next yellow row, which in this case consists of 30 yellow beads. And I'm here, guys, where I'm adding 34 orange beads. If you need to add less or more so your work stays in a nice shape, go ahead and do this. In my case, I'm adding 34 beads. Okay guys, and I'm here at my last row, I just added it, it consists of 44 red beads. Then I went through some beads in this direction, and what I want to do here is make a knot and cut my thread. How I do this? I make here a loop, and I go through this loop I've made, and I pull. Then I go through some beads after the knot that I've made. And I cut this tail thread. Okay. Okay, guys, and now my teardrop rainbow earrings with double brick stitch are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe also hit the bell button and in this way you will be inspired often usually twice a week with my new designs check description for a full list of materials and a facebook page where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials thank to all of you that like share and comment this is a great an amazing support guys and you might also want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description thank you so much for watching bye bye from me